Uh, Dave Aquino is our next presenter. Uh, he'll be, he is from Value Charts and will be talking to you about his big fish method for Metastock and what it does in helping you. Uh, really what it's designed to do is, is show, to show you how to build your wealth with large profitable trades, how to catch the big move right from the start, manage your position with little risk, and also um, see his big fish trade uh, and how it's performed uh, most recently. So uh, what we're going to do now is go ahead and turn the time over to Dave Aquino. Um, and uh, then we will uh, recap here in a bit to, as well. So let's go ahead and uh, bring Dave Aquino on. Dave, I'm going to um, switch it over to you for presenter here. Oh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, this is Dave Aquino with Value Charts, and uh, I'm very happy to be able to present to you today um, my Big Fish trading strategy and the Metastock Big Fish breakout indicator that we've developed. I uh, appreciate the opportunity uh, for Metastock to talk to you all this afternoon and uh, I think you're going to really enjoy the information uh, that I have tonight, uh, today. I've really kind of packed it in here and the, 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 so a lot of people ask me right at first, what do you mean by big fish trading? It, it, it sounds pretty intriguing and uh, it, it's, it's basically catching big moves in the stock market. With, uh, with that move in, in indices, in individual stocks, and how you can use uh, an indicator like the Big Fish Breakout to see those trigger points where these breaks, these major Big Fish moves can happen. So again, just really glad to be here, and I think you're going to find this hour really exciting. So let's go ahead and keep going. A little bit about me. Again, my name is Dave Aquino. And um, I am the Stocks and Options Live Trading Room Specialist for Value Charts. Um, graduated uh, from Vanderbilt, uh, been in the markets, been working as a full uh, Series 7 broker from the age of 23. Um, I worked at the Vanguard Group's Asset Management Service. We um, managed ultra high net worth client uh, families and um, my job was to handle the highly appreciated stock that a lot of these families brought in and we would uh, structure um, option uh, strategies to generate income on that appreciated stock as well as tax loss harvesting strategies that allowed the, um, the to, to minimize the tax basis on those individual positions. Um, I've been working with value charts over 24 months running the live trading room. Uh, we have a tremendous amount of fun in there. Uh, we, we explore the markets every day through the mar uh, um, you know through our in, um, trades and um, it, it's been a lot of fun but as a byproduct of this everyday trading we have the opportunity to uh, increase uh, our wealth as well as develop new strategies and the uh, the big fish trading system came about. Uh, looking at some of these big moves that we see in the markets and how to take advantage of them. Now one thing I especially uh, follow is to minimize risk. So that is a very important part of the way we trade also. So I think that's the most intriguing part of the Big Fish strategy. All right, quick risk disclaimer. Now uh, I'm not going to read this to you verbatim, but uh, we at Value Charts always want you to know that trading always carries a high level of risk. You should trade with an understanding of your level of experience, your ability to tolerate risk, and the knowledge that you bring forth in your trading. Now we've done everything we can to make sure this. You understand that we cannot guarantee uh, its accuracy or is not liable for any loss or damage that you uh, may incur directly or indirectly from this content. Any past performance of any results is shown for illustration and example only. And most importantly, past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. Uh, this is CFTC rule 4.41. Basically, it's the same thing. Um, we just want you to know, again, that trading carries both large potential rewards and risk. Uh, don't trade it with money that you can't afford to lose, and this is not a solicitation to buy or sell future stocks or options. And again, past performance of any trading system is not necessarily indicative of future results. All right, so let's dig right into the the the, the the soul of this material. 
And the one thing that we um, talk about at value charts is the ability to give our traders to be uh, self-sufficient traders as well as the confidence and the knowledge necessary to handle the markets. I kind of boil it down like this. If you give a man a fish, you can feed him for a day. But if you teach a man to fish, you can feed him for a lifetime. And I think the opportunity the markets afford us really make this um, possible for anybody that has access to the markets. So uh, strategies that we come up with can really boost your overall long-term success when you trade. All right. Make sure that comes up. Okay, give me one second here. I want to make sure that that is still coming through. Oh, there we go. That. <laughs> Sorry for the delay there. It actually took a second for the... Uh, the screen to load up. So that right there, my friends, if anybody doesn't know what it is, um, I'm sorry, I'll get it right back up here. That big fish between those two gentlemen uh, is a bluefin tuna. And uh, this thing probably weighs about a thousand pounds. And um, when I came up with this particular strategy, I was thinking about the opportunity involved, and I was I was kind of inspired by National Geographic's TV show Wicked Tuna. If those of you that don't know this show, is gentlemen uh, uh, um, go out uh, at the time the show was showing off the coast of off the coast of uh, Boston, Massachusetts, and they'd go out and they'd catch these gigantic bluefin tuna. Now these giants come in weighing, uh, you know, several hundred pounds, upward to a thousand pounds, and these things can bring in to the the, the fishermen eight thousand, ten thousand, twelve thousand dollars per fish. And I thought it was a very suitable name for what we're trying to do in the markets. Okay, so let me just go ahead and review the big fish trading system here. Okay, I just want to make sure that there's not a delay in getting this information in front of you. Okay, the big fish trading system. Tell me again, what, what does that mean? Um, I'm, I'm going to explain it in detail and show you that particular opportunity and what it looks like on, on the stock charts. What are the major strategies involved that we use to capture the big fish trades? Um, I'm going to talk specifically about a very... Uh, cool most recent type of trade setup we we do in the system we call it the shark bite trade um, it, it's an evolution of how we approach the opportunity that these big fish trades give us and then I'm going to show you uh, with real life proof how we've pursued these opportunities in the market and the results that we have now I want you to stay all the way to the end because at, uh, what I'm going to also do is tell you where there is opportunity now. And this is very significant because big fish trades come up periodically in the markets. What is very interesting and in, in very opportunistic is that the opportunities are really forming that, that could potentially become big fish trades in the next week. So I want you to stay to the end and see where those opportunities are. Okay, so the next step is the big fish trading method. What do I mean by big fish when I use that particular term? I'm talking about building wealth with large profitable trades. Okay. I'm talking about catching the big move right from the start. Once we get into a position in which we can have a big move, how do you manage that position, at least initially, um, with little risk? Because the initial entry into a trade is always the most precarious. Once it starts to move in our way, the, the pressure is off from the standpoint of incurring a loss. The pressure then starts to build in terms of, oh my gosh, this is a nice profit. What do I do to go ahead and, and continue this? 
Okay, and then when you and that's the next point that I, I want to address. What do I do when I have big profits on the line? How do I manage it? How do I plan my exit so I can maximize the amount of money I get from the opportunity as well as uh, uh, come up with a, a good strategy to take those profits along the way? Okay, so let me go ahead and jump right into what do I mean by big, uh, a big fish trade? A big fish trade is a winning trade of sufficient profits that can make a sizable impact in your trading account. Now I'm talking about a trade that could easily return 100% of your money, uh, basically a doubling of your profits or more. Now these uh, you, sometimes you can get a doubling of your profits. You hold an individual stock. Five years later, it's worth twice as much. What I'm talking about in terms of a big fish trade, I'm talking about a very quick return of profits in a traditional swing trading type time frame of anywhere from two to four days. Now, that's very impressive from the return standpoint, the one thing that you also want to look at is the opposite side of the coin. How can I structure this trade and opportunity in a way so that I have relatively little risk to trading capital? We want to, we can't eliminate risk, but we can minimize risk. Okay. And what I'm talking about, the overall effect to your portfolio is if you are, um, if you are trading each trade in your account roughly by uh, say five to, to uh, uh, three to five percent of your trading count each trade we're talking about an increase of of two to five percent in your overall account with a big fish trade because lots of times when we are trading we are our, our profit and loss our count balance looks like this it goes up and down what you want is movement that is slow and steady in your account and then punctuated by a nice gain with a big fish trade come back down nice and steady another move higher and so on that's how you increase the size of your account long term and take advantage of these particular big fish opportunities okay all right all right so again Building your trading account, long-term trading success is built upon steady increases in your account. I had shown you that a big fish trade and then a continuation move higher is the best way to structure the way you increase your portfolio. Steady growth, consistent profits with small losses, punctuated by a healthy dose of big fish winners. That is very important. You want to realize that compounding your account is your goal. But the most important aspect of that, what I'm talking about today, is big winners every so often can make a huge impact in the long-term success of your, your trading account, building that up to a sizable amount that you can in, you know, basically boost your, your cash flow. If, you, if you've never realized it, and one thing that I realized managing really large portfolios is as soon as a portfolio reaches a sufficient amount of size and the, the relative amount of cash flow necessary to be thrown off on that account is it, it, it actually decreases over time relative to the size of the portfolio, you actually find out that you don't have to take as much risk. Lots of times people will ask me, do really wealthy people have to take as much risk as uh, some of us smaller fish? And then the, the answer to that question is no, because their portfolio can throw off a sizable amount of income. And that's where you want to get to. You want to realize steady growth in your portfolio and um, and use these big fish opportunities to help get that portfolio into a trading size that will that you can cons uh, over time reduce the amount of risk you need to trade because the size of the portfolio continues to increase. 
All right, so let's go ahead and get started here. And I'm going to talk about building wealth with large profitable trades. That's what I call big fish trades. Okay. I'm sorry if I, I seem like I'm, I'm dragging a little bit. And actually, it's because I'm getting a little bit of a lag between each slide. So I don't want to talk and, uh, and keep talking and show you uh, information on a slide without you being able to see it. All right, so let's get started. Catching the big fish move right from the start. Okay, and I've talked about uh, big fish and what it means from the standpoint of the trade. What I want to talk about is the big fish stocks that we actually use um, when we trade. We're talking about large dollar value stocks that have large average true ranges. And these stocks, especially when they have higher implied volatility, actually make strong directional moves. Okay, And uh, the ETFs and stocks that I'm also talking about also have highly liquid options. That is, and I'm sure you, some of you have guessed it already, the, the ability to make 100% return on your money has to come from a leverage situation. So it has to come from the leverage of using options. Okay, the examples of this are Priceline, Netflix, Google, CMG, Amazon, and Tesla. Um, also the ETFs that you can use are QQQ, that's a NASDAQ 100, SPY, S&P 500 index, and IWM, and that's reflective of the Russell 2000. When I say large average true range, uh, I'm actually talking about a 15-day average true range. Now, the pure average true range number is actually more important than the size of the average true range relative to the price of the stock. But here is the, some of the examples that I have. Priceline, we're talking, uh, it's currently $1,215. The average true range for that stock is $22. Netflix, $455. The average true range there is $16. Google, is, uh, current price is $572. And the average true range there is $14. Uh, CMG, uh, price is 585 uh, 685 I'm sorry and the average true range there is about eleven dollars and then Tesla the current value is 194 average true range there is about seven now the reason why average true range is uh, important is because the profitability of a move a big fish move is related to the pure dollar value of the movement of the stock okay and uh, that is magnified by options as the stock is moving in the direction we're expecting it to. Okay, now, now I know what a big fish stock is. Now, how do I, how do I find the big moves that will happen in the market? So you know which stocks represent big fish. Um, big fish size stocks. What, what, how do you find the big move that we're looking for? Well, we actually use multiple time frames. Now, multiple time frames means we have different time frames on each chart that we use. Uh, we use them to identify these trading opportunities and specifically the longer term time frame, which are uh, comprised of daily and weekly charts, we're looking for those opportunities in which the stock will make a turn or break out from a particular support or resistance level. So you can either break higher through resistance or break below support and continue lower. This is one way and this is the function of the Metastock Big Fish Breakout Indicator that uh, I use in this strategy that helps me identify those big fish breakout levels. Okay, When you see a big fish breakout level and you see particular price action through it or against it, 
you'll actually see um, as a, it's, it's almost a way to confirm what the price action is showing you and therefore you know to start looking at the second time frame, the shorter time frame. And that comprises usually 15 minute, 5 minute or short term tick charts. Now these charts help you identify very concise entry trades. Okay, These entry trades allow you to minimize your risk by taking trades in the direction of the large move but on a smaller time frame. Okay? All right. So, again, uh, now I see that I know what stock I'm, I'm looking at. The, uh, the big fish break indicator is signaling an opportunity. Now, how do I actually enter? How do I get the big fish on the hook? And this is where you use the, uh, now you know which direction it is because you can see it building on the daily or the weekly chart. How do you use the shorter time frame, okay, for an entry trade? And what the way that is carried out is you use the short term time frame in the same direction as the long term time frame opportunity. Now let me explain. If the daily chart is showing a bullish opportunity for a break higher, maybe the, uh, the big fish breakout indicator shows a level of resistance and then we have a break higher. That is a bullish opportunity. So what we are looking for on this small time frame is a bullish divergence or a descending wedge that's going to break higher or a breakout level. This is the one I like the best, especially when the, uh, the big fish breakout indicator is telling me this is the line in the sand. When we break it, we're going to run higher. That's, I mean, that's how you use that. And the opportunity usually is spot on. If we are looking for a bearish opportunity, the daily or the weekly chart is signaling a move lower. Well, we're on the shorter time, time frame, we're looking for bearish divergences especially against maybe a big fish breakout um, resistance level, okay? How about uh, a descend, an ascending wedge, a climbing wedge that usually breaks to the downside? Or, again, my favorite with the big fish breakout indicator is a bearish breakout. Imagine you're on, um, on, an, on, on a, a frozen lake and you're walking across the ice. Well, a bearish breakout is just like that. You break through the ice and you start to accelerate down. In this case, that's an opportunity for you and you're looking for that uh, signal in a break lower on the daily time frame. The short term time frame allows you to get in and minimize your risk. Okay, so now that we're in the trade, how do you manage that position? Okay. The short term, again, I'm going to repeat this one more time because it's very important um, as to how we pursue the big fish trades on um, these big fish stocks. We use the power of entry trades to help us use the short term direction to enter in the same direction as the longer term time frame opportunity. Okay. Once you get a position in place, so you're bearish on the daily, now you have puts or, or put options in place. Now you have those options in place. The most important thing is not to take your profit first. You want to maintain that position that with a very small risk or what I call no risk stop loss. Let's just say uh, you get in when the price is at 100. The stock starts to fall, you're at 95. Your options now have a, basically uh, in, in, um, a what we call a profit cushion then you can move your stop loss to that same level where you bought it so that now you have technically a no risk position all right remember the most important aspect of this is the entry trades that you're using is to get your foot in the door it's not to take immediate profits be patient because on that smaller time frame you you could get stopped out that is a possibility a small stop but you see the opportunity on the daily if it's still there Try it again. Try to get into a position that will allow you to be there for the larger move. Okay. One other aspect 
of the big fish trading system is that I have a see I have a, a secret way um, a trade that we utilize to generate income while we wait for these big fish breakouts so we're watching a big fish stock it's making a particular consolidation move we're waiting for the the big fish move to actually occur we identified the levels it's not yet breaking we'll utilize the income strategies to generate um, uh, profits while you're waiting for the big fish to actually break and run your way okay so let me just double check here all right so now what I have a position the stock is moving my way I have profits on the line and they're getting bigger every minute how do I manage the position now this is kind of a parlance that goes back to the fishermen but you want to be able to fight the, the fish all the way back to your boat and land him so with your big fish position you want to be able to manage your position and let that big fish continue to move in the distance that you're expecting it to on the daily chart okay or the the bigger time frame chart again the most important thing is to maintain your position now once you have a profit cushion say that like I said earlier your stock is moving your way on the daily chart you have a nice sizable profit you want to maintain that trailing position with a trailing stop so that you're locking in profits as you go but by doing that in a way that you can allow the big fish to continue to move around and continue um, and maximize that profit now when you when I say you're letting the big fish run you're using the longer term time frame because that is where you saw the opportunity and utilize that time frame to allow you to uh, begin to take profits at reasonable exit points this is your exit strategy okay you've seen the potential of the move so you're selecting things like uh, value charts we're using value targets maybe there's some previous uh, um, simple moving averages or exponential moving averages you can use those to plan uh, lo uh, at locations in the chart that you can take profit if it's a retracement trade you can use a Fibonacci retracement levels to take profits as you're moving also daily and weekly support because it is on a daily and weekly uh, time frame you're looking at those levels seeing that this are these are areas where the stock movement may pause or potentially turn around so they provide good targets for you to take profits as you go it's okay to take planned and staged partial profits if you have 10 contracts if you have four different stages that is uh, just fine you can take profits on two contracts along the way so you just continue to have it proceed and that way you're locking in profits as the stock is moving your way um, you can use average true range for I wouldn't use average true range John for um, profit targets because an average true range is on a daily basis when you're talking about a big fish kind of move usually it's swing trading anywhere from two to four days so average true range doesn't quite have that same effect alright so let me break down again the big fish opportunity and uh, a, a kind of a fundamental way to go ahead and proceed with uh, the strategy again you need to just look at your you don't need to look at hundreds and hundreds of stocks there are only certain stocks out there that meet the big fish criteria but those are all the opportunities you're going to need uh, one tip is to make sure not only do you watch the individual stocks but also watch the uh, the indices the ETFs the ones that I outlaid the QQQs or the SPY or the IWM because usually what happens in the indices happens in the individual stocks okay you're watching big fish stocks for large potential moves you're using multiple time frames to help you identify both the opportunity 
which would be on the larger time frame and the smaller time frame to help you enter a position uh, in which you can advantageously enter and by extension minimize your risk by keeping the stop loss relatively short okay you are using what I call the power of entry trades on the smaller time frames to help you minimize that risk now and then once you have a big fish stock on and it's starting to move your way you're going to utilize a trading plan that will allow you to see the exit opportunities of your trade on the larger time frame and that way you can maximize your your uh, potential for profit in the trade okay so the one other aspect and again this is one of the newer aspects of the trade is also how to generate income while we're fishing for the big fish okay it, it's a new aspect but it's it's part of the big fish strategy because the big fish doesn't always break and because you're spending your time trading it you want to be able to walk away and create a cash flow create a profit and then set yourself up for the next time the big fish may move all right now I know I've kind of uh, gone over the the big the idea behind the big fish trade and the opportunity that we, we can talk about let's go ahead and talk about um, a trade that I took in Priceline that netted a, a pretty sizable income okay so I traded this uh, opportunity and uh, I was able to I'm sorry I'm getting notifications that uh, people are trying to get in the room okay bear with me one second folks I apologize Dave, you can just click to not show that uh, again, and it will uh, it'll uh, stop something up for you. I got it. Thanks, Kelly. I appreciate it. <laughs> it's amazing how many people are, are coming to this event. This is amazing, and and uh, I mean that's why we keep hitting the the maximum. I I, I don't normally have a a packed house like this. So thanks a lot, Kelly. I appreciate. It. Okay, there we go. Thank you. All right, so everybody can still see my trade. So this is the price line trade I took early last year now I love this example because you can see how even just small opportunities in the markets can make a sizable um, impact and it's not even the 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 highest optimized type of move now right here again this is in Priceline and what's very interesting is Priceline is just moving up in this straightforward pattern it hits the high side this congestion area marked off by the big fish um, big fish uh, breakout indicator and looking at it it stalls and we actually pull back to the eight day EMA and we're able to take advantage of this particular trade now I'm going to break it down exactly uh, how it, it worked out for us okay so here we go price line going back if you look at this position going back about two weeks before we actually took the trade we watch these stocks every single day and especially the daily patterns to see what may be shaping up so going back uh, about two and a half weeks we see that it forms this I see the dotted line this three-day period uh, a base is formed and price line then proceeds to move up strongly for eight days in a row now each day that we move higher we actually we actually move further and further away from that green line which is the eight-day moving average now when the eight day moving what usually the best way to think about it is when you move away from the eight day moving average usually the rubber band gets pulled really tight and eventually everything gets pulled back and that's exactly what happens here um, the longer you stay away from the eight EMA the more likely you are to eventually pull back and touch it so after eight days of going higher and pulling away I'm looking for a little bit of a pullback in price line 
Okay. So one thing again that we have by using the big fish breakout uh, indicator is we have this level that when these lines tend to converge, we actually look for the opportunity in this case to use it as resistance and show that we actually start to pull back. Okay, give me one second. Okay, so you see the double top there. Both highs are against the resistance level uh, at the big fish breakout level. And then at that point, I'm looking for bearish intraday trades. On that smaller time frame, I'm looking for the pullback. So right there, I'm looking for a move from roughly uh, uh, 1312 back down to the 8 EMA, which is around 12.55. Now, specifically the way I traded this, in two days, this was about the, the high at the midday uh, at uh, 13.12, and then a pullback to the 8 EMA. Now that 8 EMA fell right along the lines of 12.57, and I hit that about noon two days later. So this is roughly two full trading days. Now the thing about this particular move, it doesn't look like it's very powerful, does it? It's a pullback to the ADMA. How can you possibly make money on pullback to the ADMA? The fact is it's a big fish stock, okay? That's key. We go from 13.12, not, not $20 stock, not $35 stock, not even $150 stock. It is a $1,312 stock, and it pulls back to the 8 EMA. When it pulls back, it moves $50 plus. Now, trading this opportunity, I utilized 20 contracts of Priceline puts, and this move netted me $63,000 in profits. Okay, now one feedback I sometimes get from people is, golly Dave, that, those option contracts are about uh, usually um, uh, anywhere from $1,500 a piece to about $1,200 a piece. I can't afford you know, that. I can't afford 20 Well, if you traded just one, okay, your profits there would have been a $3,000 profit over the course of two days. And that right there, my friends, that is what you call leverage. This kind of move is more than 100% return on your option. And the fact is you make a lot of money because it moves a pure $55 amount your way. Okay? Okay. So as it pulls back, you're looking for the opportunity, and in this case, We've identified on the daily chart that it, the opportunity is just to play a pullback to the 8 EMA. It's not showing much in the way, uh, it's, it's showing a continuation move higher uh, according to momentum, but the thing about it is the pullback is, again, normally what happens is you get sh that rubber band stretched too far from the 8 EMA, it'll come back, it'll touch it and then it will continue. So right there, the trade that we played, and, and somebody asked me, Dave, why didn't you hold it longer? Uh, Priceline was gonna have earnings. And I, and I think it was the next, uh, I think it was this actual day that we had earnings. So my goal was to be out before close on Thursday, and, and then here you see the gap higher. Uh, had I known that, I would've stayed in it, but it's okay. This is the trade that I was planning for, that's the trade I played, all right? That $3,000 per contract move, that's nothing to sneeze at. All right, so this is a very interesting one. This is a move in Google. All right, let me give it a second here to catch up with me. Yes, the, the trade that I, I showed you just, uh, that I just finished with was Priceline, and, and they were puts in Priceline. All right. <laughs> I actually have someone in the crowd that was that took that same trade with me in my trading room. Thank you for for mentioning it. See, it's it's funny. I get that response every once in a while when I do a presentation regarding the big fish trade, and it's amazing. It's like, oh yeah, I remember that trade. I made money too. And the, the quick story is the very first time I did the presentation 
on this big fish strategy. Four days later, I have an email from a, a trader in my room, and he said, Dave, I took that trade, the big fish trade, and I believe it was Google, and he walked away with roughly $16,000 in profit. I think he traded about 10 contracts, but he was... He, he, he said that normally he would have taken his profits early, but by utilizing the strategy, he was able to hang on and see the bigger opportunity. He was really able to extend it out, and he actually told me what he did with the proceeds. He said, I actually sold it and gave $4,000 each to each of my grandchildren for their colleges. So, I mean, that made me feel good because it's, it's just a pure application of, of, the, of the strategy and he carried it out well, and everybody did well with that trade. So just a little side story. This is the next um, trade that I, I did. This is in Google. You can see that there is a move down here on March 10th. Basically, the big fish breakout level was right here. You can see it's a double top. And right here when we broke this bar, the, you can see the red arrow, it moved down roughly $14 in Google. And I took my profits on the bounce, had a stop loss, but that $14 move in Google profited nearly um, $11,000. Okay? Uh, amazing kind of move there. Okay? And the funny thing is, a couple of days later, on, um, on March 21st, there's another opportunity, another break right here uh, all through the big fish breakout level. We're still looking to trade this to the downside. And the crazy thing is, I took my profits right here. Uh, hold on one second. I'm waiting for the, the chart to make sure you guys can see it. Okay, so that breakout level, I took my profits here. I did not see this continuation pattern because it went down even further. Okay, but the profit I had on basically on half the overall move in Google um, on the 21st going, going out three or four more days, um, there is another profit here of roughly 11950 Okay, again, we're just trading this. We're not using the EMAs. We're just trading support and resistance level based on previous highs and lows. And this thing uh, basically... We, we pull in a profit of, of 11950 So net over the two trades in Google, we actually come out with roughly $23,000 in profits. Um, that's a tremendous opportunity there. All right. And this is another strategy here. This is the big fish trade that failed. Okay. The price line we're trading again. And uh, in, in this one, price line, we are looking for a breakout below the big fish, um, the, the, the big fish breakout level lower. The opportunity we identified was for a move $55 further down. Now, right now, that level is sitting at 1190, okay? And the move lower, we were looking for it to go down to 1135. The problem is this trade never, ever broke. Now, the, uh, the risk that we take, again, let me just do a quick review, is based on where we enter on the smaller intraday time frame. Okay? Now, in this particular set of trades uh, in Priceline that failed, we were trying to get a position in in which Priceline will break that 1190 level. Okay? So let's just walk through each of the days, okay? So you can see that those three days are right there, and each day we come down to 1190. Now, that's not where we enter. We're actually looking for bearish trades, and we happen to catch a price line in a certain way that we generated income every single day. All right, the first day, Tuesday, June 16th, there's a bearish divergence at midday and Priceline fell down all the way to 1190. That move inside that bar from nearly the high to the low is $20. Now, I got into position with 10 contracts 
and I'm waiting for this thing to break 1190 and for it to fall all the way down to, uh, I guess it was 1135. All right. It never broke that day. It rebounded off 1190. I got stopped out on an intraday basis, but I still made enough to make about $11,000 on that trade. Okay. The next day, we come back. The opportunity is still there. The big fish breakout level is still 1190. Say almost identical setup. Big fish going lower. Now, again, it did not break but that move is I caught about $18 of that move and um, again the net gain on that was 9600 I didn't break the 1190 level so we try it again on Thursday June 18th price line fell from the open and went lower now the thing about this this big fish break was still at 1190 it did not break again and you can see how it rebounded to the high of the day we were out we I, I believe at the 1190 level we ended up playing a double bottom so once you saw that double bottom it was a bullish divergence we went ahead and took our profits and that profit on that day was about six thousand dollars on 10 contracts again that trade failed because our what we're trying to do is use a small time frame to enter a position, develop a profit cushion, and be in position for a strong move lower. It never broke 1190, folks, but we still made money. All right. Now, I'm going to quick touch on the shark bite trade because this is very interesting. And then I want to get enough time at the end here so I can tell you what's in the water now. Okay. So, my first question is what part of a breakout move has the highest probability for uh, actual movement in the stock what part of a move has the greatest price momentum it's almost like when you break a support the fastest part of a move um, usually and you can see here let, let's take a quick look at this chart okay you have a very cool double bottom you can see here with the blue, uh, the blue arrows. Sorry, I'm waiting for the, the for the image to catch up here. Okay, so you have a double bottom here, and the uh, the upside big fish breakout resistance level, the green, is right there, and we see that at 1060. Now that big fish move. We're projecting up to the purple line, which is about 1145. Okay, so from 1060 to 1145 is roughly $85. The thing about it is, is when that break occurs, okay, we are looking for the first half of that projected move, the first 40, 45 dollars, 40 to 45 dollars is the the first half. And that is where the biggest and quickest profits occur. Okay. And when we take advantage of that, that is where we can take a big bite out of the profits right at first. Because that, again, is the one that will develop the fastest and have the highest probability that will actually occur. And you can see it right on this chart that the first 50% of this projected $85 move is the move from 1060 to 1100 okay and the way we trade the shark bite trade is we can use conservative at the money debit spreads aggressive out of the money debit spreads and then we can kind of offset the cost of these debit spreads with um, aggressive uh, credit spread selling strategies kind of utilizing a ratio spread kind of um, um, arrangement between debit spreads and credit spreads. Now this target zone that we utilize is the first 50% of whatever your overall target is, whether it be because of Fibonacci retracement or support and resistance levels. Now in this particular strategy, this is a Fibonacci retracement of about 50% from an overall move that had been from the beginning of September 
all the way to the, down to the mid part of October. So that bounce higher represents 50% of that move. And what we're trying to do is take a shark bite trade on the first 50%. Uh, now this, I'm going to summarize it, the big fish move here that actually occurred and we made profits on, we made $76,000 on this five-day move trading roughly 20 contracts. Now the cool thing was, in addition to that profit, utilizing the standard big fish method, we actually, and, and here are the actual um, calls, results of the calls that I that I actually traded for the uh, the profit. Okay, the shark bite portion of it actually resulted in an, an extra thirteen thousand dollar profit as we went ahead and took advantage of that first 50% of that move. Okay. See that right there? An extra 13,000 on the first 50% of the move all the way to 1,100. It did continue higher over the, uh, the remaining four days uh, to the 50% uh, uh, retracement level. Now, the one thing that I want to make sure that I bring to you, that the big fish trading system is designed to help you catch the massive explosive moves in these particular stocks and ETFs. They help you get in the trades early and let you have little risk because you're utilizing a smaller time frame. What you're doing is developing a trade plan, an exit strategy that helps you maximize your profit. And then while you're waiting for the big fish move to occur, you're utilizing uh, strategies to generate income, and then you have the ability to use the shark bite zone to help you make that extra profitable punch right at the break level. Now, I've compiled everything for you to do that in this uh, opportunity that I have for you today. The new Big Fish Metastock Breakout Indicator, as well as the complete Big Fish Strategy video course. I combine all the strategies together as well as the indicator, and this again will help you, help you catch that big move in the stocks. They're going to help you um, have utilize the special techniques that help you enter early in the smaller time frames. And just as important, once you're in, I know so many traders that when they get in this position, they start emailing me like, oh my gosh, Dave, it actually works. I'm in the trade and I'm nervous as heck because I'm sitting on, you know, a thousand, two thousand dollars plus of profits. How far will it go? What do you do? And I tell them, go back, use it, your larger scale exit strategy, plan your profits as it moves. Okay. And again, I've shown you those examples and I've also uh, talked about the, um, income strategies, but again, this particular video course I want to offer you today, at, plus the indicator, at $297, okay? You can go to valuecharts.com slash big, and you'll be able to take advantage of that. I'm going to uh, do this, because I, I st okay, so I will do... Sorry, the chart is is catching up to me. Okay, I put it in the, the chat box there for you. All right. So again, we've talking about the opportunities that I've shown you. The um, the first trade that that I, I well, one of the trades that I showed you was the price line trade that failed. That's the one where we made almost twenty seven thousand dollars, and. Um, the, the situation was with the big fish break never occurred. The next one we're talking about was that trade in Google. We were, there are multiple opportunities to catch big fish moves. The uh, big fish breakout indicators are giving us support levels almost every day, and we're watching for those big moves. You're looking at the longer term time frame, and you're catching some of these moves. The, I, I'm looking at the um, the particular trades here, and I see you know two or uh, you know uh, one or two extra trades we could have taken, but these first two 
were the really clear breakout levels for you to take. And then the very first one, which was just the um, eight day, the pullback to the eight day moving average, uh, that particular one uh, netted roughly 63,000 there. Um, it's amazing how the opportunities come up time and time again. I mean, it's not something that you are looking to do on a regular schedule because we can't control those opportunities. But I'll tell you right now, the opportunity in the market is shaping up. Now I do, I'm, I want to actually talk about a couple of items that are in the water now. Okay, so let's just quick go through the charts. I don't want to eat into anybody's time here. Kelly's going to pull me off the stage, but the opportunities that I see right now, and I'm just going to let the, make sure we load back up because you guys have been very patient. You, uh, you've, you've seen the opportunity with uh, valuecharts.com slash big. Again, it's for the breakout indicator and the complete strategy course. Now, right here, you see power shares QQQ. The big fish indicator is showing me the break levels. It's already occurring, folks. This is like as of yesterday, okay? And the market is pulling back. I see a 50% retracement in the QQQs coming down to about 104 and a half. Okay, so we're sitting at 107 and a half, roughly 104 and a half in the QQQs. Now, normally, when the opportunity occurs in the index, that's when the big fish trades really start to pop up. Again, I always go back to Priceline, but Priceline behaves so well with big fish trades. The next opportunity right here, we're sitting at 1215. Folks, there's an opportunity for us to go from 1215 down to 1130. This goes back all the way and fills that gap. You'll see it in just a second. You'll see the purple line. That's where we can go. Can you imagine a move, a big fish move, of uh, roughly $85 to the downside. You saw what we could do the last time. I think this time, if the market rolls over, if the index rolls over, price line will fall. It's already had a lot of bearish momentum. It's breaking those big fish levels, breakout levels, and it's heading lower. The, um, the next one is an apple. Okay, and a lot of people like apple. I'd be careful entering this one right now because you have the inert, the announcement on um, on Monday but after that if we break out the the level right around 125 there's a very good chance that Apple could drop below 120 okay for Apple that is a big fish move um, and again the opportunity is there because its options are very liquid so again remember the QQQs Priceline and Apple so those are my thanks for you to, those are the opportunities that are in the water now. I truly, truly hope you take advantage of it. This Metastock Big Fish Breakout Indicator, as well as the complete Big Fish Strategy course, is available right now for $297 at valuecharts.com slash big. So again, thank you very, very much. I, I really hope to be hearing from you. Um, again, because the opportunities are in the water now, folks. Um, it's been about a month since we've had a big fish trade. Uh, we traded Priceline to the upside. Um, this is another opportunity now to the downside. So I hope you take advantage of it. And uh, thank you very much for your time this afternoon. And uh, thank you again for Metastock for having me. And uh, Kelly, thank you very much. Thank you so much, Dave. Uh, really appreciate the wonderful presentation.